And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Skies have cleared out and those temperatures have sharply dropped. We're waking up to the single digits across the Snake River Plain. Three degrees right now in Idaho Falls. We're at four in Blackfoot and also in Pocatello. The western half of Wyoming temperature is well below zero. Currently seven below in Jackson, eight below right now in Afton. Definitely bundle up and wind chills across the region are well below zero, especially across the higher elevations. It feels like 20 degrees below zero in Jackson. It feels like 18 below right now in West Yellowstone. But fortunately, not quite as windy as it was yesterday morning. So across the Snake River Plain, wind speeds calm to a light breeze ranging from 3 to 5 miles per hour. And as we move throughout the day, you can expect a light breeze between about 5 to 10 miles per hour in our area. And talking temperatures over the next couple of days, unfortunately, still continuing to be well below average. For today, most areas across the Snake River Plain will be in the 20s. This, the Pocatello area in American Falls could get a degree above 30, but still very cool out there even for tomorrow most of our area still continuing to be in the 30s and then it does look like by friday fortunately most of the snake river plain temperatures rise into the 40s storm tracker satellite and radar again clear for this morning a few clouds being picked up across the western half of wyoming but notice not dealing with any new snow out there and that's what will stay at least for the next seven days out there we're expecting dry conditions and today we will see lots of sunshine in the sky with temperatures still continuing to be well below average in the 20s and the 30s. 28 today for Idaho Falls, 27 for Rexburg, 31 today for Pocatello and American Falls across the Central Mountains. Sunny and cool for your area as well with high temperatures for many locations in those 30s. 35 today for Salmon, 36 for Chalice, 34 across Stanley and across the Highlands in Western Wyoming. It'll really feel like a winter day out there with high temperatures very crisp only in the 20s 26 today for Jackson 23 for Afton Yellowstone staying in the teens for today and as we look ahead to tonight temperatures still continuing to be frigid across most areas but a slight improvement from last night notice for the western half of Wyoming most locations aren't below zero for tonight we'll be at one degree in Jackson tonight zero degrees in Yellowstone one below across Afton and for the snake of a plane mid to upper single digits we'll be at six tonight for Blackfoot nine for Pocatello five for Idaho Falls and for the Central Mountains a few areas will be in those teens for tonight your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven day forecast leaves us sunny for today and for tomorrow we have Halloween and for the trick-or-treaters it will be really cool out there in the evening hours temperatures will be mainly in those 30s and look ahead into the weekend will be dry but temperatures will be slightly warmer than what they are now 48 on Saturday 50 on Sunday with a partly cloudy sky and temperatures even into next week look like they'll be in the 40s and 50s Idaho Falls your seven day forecast sunny for today mainly sunny tomorrow so we'll stay dry for the next seven days with temperatures gradually returning to the 40s by Sunday across the Teton area Jackson Afton and Driggs sunny for today partly cloudy for tomorrow sunny on Friday and we'll see temperatures again for your area in the 20s and 30s and then by Sunday we'll be finally returning to the 40s and across the Central Mountains Salmon Chalice and Mackey sunny for today with more clouds in the sky for Halloween tomorrow.